Okay, a traveler sets out from a certain place, goes three and a half miles in the first hour. I'll write this down for you. He goes three and three quarters in the next hour, and then he goes four. So kind of looking at it, it's a sequence, and this sequence is clear, clearly arithmetic, and he's going up by a quarter. So the next one's gonna be four and a quarter, and next one's gonna be four and two quarter, which is four and a half. All right, and I can keep going on and on and on and on and on. All right, so a traveler sets out from a certain place, three and a half, three and three quarters, four, and so on. It does say that. Now it says after five hours, so that means it's after this is five hours of time. Well, after five hours, something happens, but let me see where he is five hours. So he left somewhere, and five hours later, he's over here. Now the question is, where is he? Well, I gotta add those numbers together. If you add the whole numbers together, you would get 12 plus six, which is 18. <coughs> and if I add the fractions together in terms of quarters, let's see, you get five quarters, six quarters, eight quarters, eight quarters is two. So he's actually 20 miles away from where he started. He started here, now he's here, all right? So he's 20 miles, but he, he continues to walk, all right? He continues to walk, because it says, and so on. Now, of course, I gotta keep reading it, and now what it says is, it says that somebody else heads after him after five hours, all right? And then it says that travels at eight and a half miles an hour. All right, so now the question comes is, I gotta start writing down this guy's sequence now. And what's that going to be? Well, four, right? He's going to he's going to be a quarter more though, so that's three quarters. All right. Now I want to talk about the guy's distance though, and it's going to be he's at twenty, right? So I'm going to say he's at twenty, and we're talking about this guy here. Plus, he continues to go on. Right? He continues to go on. Now I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to talk about you know, that this is, you know, A1 is four and three quarters. All right, so I'm gonna write that down as, let's see, 16, 19 quarters. And now I'm gonna talk about, you know, AN. Well, that's gonna be 19 quarters plus N minus one times that increase he has, which is one quarter. Let's write this down. So a n, that would be four as a common denominator. You would get 19 plus n minus one. Well, that's not so bad. You can get 18, whoops. Let me, I, I realize I'm running into this thing over here. I haven't gotten there yet. I'll, I'll have to erase that. I'll come back to that later. So it's gonna be 18 uh, plus n, whoops. Forgot I had my eraser going. 18 plus n over 4. All right, so I, I'm going to talk about his distance, right? And the, and the distance is really going to be a sum, right? So I, I, I got to write this part down over here, right? His distance at n, where n is the number of hours. So it's going to be 20 plus, there's going to be a sum now. And I'm going to do the distance. And what do you get over here? It's going to be, Two, n. Well, what's a one? Nineteen quarters. Plus, a n, which is eighteen, plus n, over four. All right. I'm going to simplify that, and this is the distance of this first guy setting out. We'll talk about the other guy later, but right now I got to simplify this. And what do I get? And again, I'll be careful. And the reason to be careful, I don't, if I make a mistake, it's really going to go haywire on me. And let me just take a look here. I'm gonna say eight is a denominator now, and you get N, 19 plus 18 plus N. Again, we're just talking about the first guy. We'll get to the other guy later. Oh boy, I gotta do some arithmetic here, don't I? So it's gonna be, this again, we're still talking about the first guy, 20 plus N. Well, 19 and 18 is gonna be 37, right? all over eight, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull them together, and that's gonna be what? Uh, 160 
I get an 8 in the bottom plus 37n plus n squared. All right? So that's a distance that guy goes. And he's given a 20-mile head start. Now, the other guy, well, he's got to catch up to him. He's got to catch up to him. Now, he's going at 8 and 1 eighth miles per hour. So I'm going to say it's going to be 8 and 1 eighth. Let me get my little line over here so I don't confuse it with this. So it's going to be 8 and 1 eighth n. And I want to know when their distance is going to be equal. I'm looking at that. That's 65 ace. N. 65 ace N. 65 ace N. Well, you know what? I think I could do... Whoops, sorry about that. I think I could probably make that a little bit simpler by multiplying both sides by 8 now. Let's put this down. 65 N equals 160 plus 37n plus n squared. Now, I definitely have a quadratic, so it, there appears to be two n's in the problem. Now, I want to point out, there they are talking about something over here. They say interpret the two answers, and we will get two answers, by the way. All right? Now, the question is, if you get two answers, what are you going to get? We're going to get two answers. They said it. Let's write this down. n squared. I'm going to take 65 from both sides. Let's see, that's gonna be, let's see, 23 and five, 28, plus 160, that equals zero. I'm using a zero product rule. Doesn't look that bad, but I'll write this down. N and N, and let's see, looks like 20 and eight, right? Because 20 times eight is 160, and the sum would be 28. So minus, minus, let me check it. You get n squared. You do get minus 28n, and you do get plus 160. So I get n equals 8. And the other one I get is n is 20. All right? Okay, let's think about it. All right, so I got my two answers. And let's just think about it. So, you know, kind of thinking about it, I'm not saying don't write the numbers down, but right now, you know, at 8, at 8, what well, n is eight, that's eight hours. So at eight hours, you know, I would get somewhere, right? Now, I hope you realize the first guy at eight hours, not the first guy, but the second guy, his rate is 65 over eight times eight. He'd be at 65 miles. All right? So I hope you realize they're both going to be going 65 miles at that point. Now, here's the problem. This, this second guy is actually faster than the first guy at that point in time. But the first guy's rate keeps increasing. Right, so although the second guy is ahead of him now, the first guy's rate keeps increasing and he's eventually gonna catch up to him and pass him and then forever remain ahead of him. And that's what the 20 hours is, all right? So let's read it. I wanna make sure you know that these things are written down for you for a reason. We do write it up. I understand that a lot of students might be confused by my notation over here, and this is going to happen to you sometimes. You're going to be looking at a key, and you're going to say, what is he writing down now? Well, I'm using a sum formula. Now, if someone says, why do you use a sum formula? Well, the bottom line is just so you can see these things over here. But the bottom line is, if you're seeing that and it's horribly confusing to you, you might have to avoid that. But I do have this stuff written down for you. All right, I'm getting this over here. So this is what happens to something with a key. You're going to look at it and say, I'm totally confused by it. But you want to see, did you match it? Like, did I get this part over here? And I clearly see it. I do see it. Did I get this part over here? I clearly see it. All right? But again, you might be confused by part of the key. All right? This is part of the reason for talking you through it, by the way. So again, let me just read this over here at eight hours. Well, we got that down. I hope you remember that. You know, the second trial was 65 miles in. First trial is also 60 miles in. But he's still moving forward. Right, again, notation might be a little confusing to you. At this point, the first travel, first traveler has traveled for 13 hours and the second traveler has traveled for eight hours. All right, that makes sense. The second traveler is still going at eight and one-eighth miles per hour. And the first travel now is going six and three-quarter miles per hour. Definitely slower, right? But you have to realize 
that second traveler's rate doesn't change, but the first traveler's rate does change. He gets faster and faster and faster. And by the 20th hour, he'll be catching up to that guy and overtaking him. And that's certainly written over here with the arithmetic down. But that's the interpretation of those two numbers, by the way. And it's certainly written up in a narrative. I'm hoping you're reading that. All right? So let me just point out, again, my name. Point this out to you. Right up here. And again, I realize if you're paying attention, you probably know my name by now and my email address. But I'll periodically remind you. So again, my name is Ron Bannon, and my email address is also Bannon. That's B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. Again, if you reach out to me and, um, and I have the time to respond to you, I will. If I'm overwhelmed, I may not be able to respond to you, but you know, make some attempt. By the way, if you're really concerned about spending a lot of time uh, contacting me, just write a, a short, the short of the email, more likely I'm going to read it. All right? Thank you.